What's up my fellow gamers? I am Gaming Seth. Thank you so much for watching another video. This is actually my first uh, Gears 5 video. I'm not sure why it took so long to make, but I wanted to cover how much fortifications and weapons cost for each character when you're playing Horde. So it doesn't matter if it's Frenzy or the 50 rounds. So anyways, let's get started with Kate. So she's a scout, so you actually have no fortifications you can buy and are limited to just weapons. So next up we have Dell. Dell can buy fortifications as an engineer, so barriers are only 1800 for him. Decoys are 2700. The machine gun sentry is 4500. The forge at level 1 is 9000. Weapons locker level 1 is 4500 and the shock sentry is 3600. JD could buy a barrier for 2000 or a machine gun sentry for 5000. So Marcus can buy a barrier at 2,000 or a decoy at 3,000. Sniper Extraordinaire Foz can buy a barrier for 2,000 or a weapons locker for 5,000. The team medic that is Jack can buy a weapons locker for 5,000 or a forge for 10,000. Obviously Jack can't buy any weapons. He can, however, repair anything that you purchase as far as fortifications. Keegan can buy a barrier for 2,000 or also a forge for 10,000, much like Jack. So like Kate, Lonnie does not have an option for fortifications, so you're restricted to just weapons. Mac can buy a barrier for 2,000 or a decoy for 3,000. And even though I said it was only the initial characters, uh, I had to include Coltrane. Uh, he can get a barrier for 2,000 or a decoy for 3,000. He's just one of my favorite characters to play with. He's a lot of fun. So here I am going to present a little table that kind of compares and sums up the cost of fortifications for each character and uh, hopefully it gives you a better view of uh, kind of who should buy what during horde matches especially when you're playing all 50 waves because you can uh, end up spending a lot of power. So anyways thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.